hello uh, welcome all in the class of pedagogical basis of social science in this course we will discuss how to teach social science course code of this course is uh, bedu1072 and course name is pedagogical basis of social science in this course we will discuss uh, meaning of social sciences and uh, definition of social sciences and uh, nature of social sciences and uh, scope of social sciences further we will discuss context and concerns of social sciences social sciences include a body of knowledge which deals with uh, social and cultural aspect of human life social sciences we have emerged as distinct disciplines in order to be taught at a different level of education and education systems started from a school level to higher education level across the globe because of their immense importance for achieving better social cohesion solidity and development social science is a subject of study at the secondary school level which offers a systematic study of man in relation to his society a country is uh, great not by its number but by the characters of its people in a democratic country like india every citizen has to uh, play a vital role in the uh, upliftment of the nation therefore it is uh, generally agreed that a citizen must be uh, educated in such a way so that uh, it would develop certain uh, desirable skills attitudes and values in him uh, for the uh, manifestation of his own self as well as uh, for the progress of the nation hence a school must prepare students for dealing with uh, social conversations cultural changes and uh, manifold problems in the society in attainment of this uh, coveted aim of education social science is quite important because it is an uh, unending dialogue between past and present which would uh, help the uh, nation to mold a better future like many other countries of the world in india social sciences constitute compulsory aspect of uh, school curriculum both at basic elementary and uh, secondary schools level for promoting a democratic and social values among students hence teachers should possess basic knowledge on social sciences and their nature and importance of learning at a school level referring all these context in this lecture attempt is made to acquaint you with the nature of social sciences and their context and concerns at the school level especially at the secondary school level meaning of social sciences in general any branch of study that deals with the social life of man and employees uh, scientific method for its study may be uh, conceived as social science thus it includes a wide variety of branches of knowledge from history and philosophy to law and education social science at present learned at the secondary stage in our school uh, uh, comprises of history civics geography economics and some part of sociology and all the relevant issues faced by uh, contemporary society what in the true sense it is not merely a combination of the contents of the subject this curriculum was introduced with a view to help children to develop an insight into human relationships social values and attitudes and also to help them appreciate other cultures along with our rich culture heritage in other words a meaningful realization of the objectives of teaching social science will result in the life skill education social sciences constitute a broad field of knowledge 
and if a human begins with human beings in relation to their social behaviors social sciences study the concept or issue like uh, cultural traditions lifestyles places and environment power and authority governance economy civic sense etc which have social implications while physical sciences are concerned with physical concepts or issues like uh, stone matter force area distance heat etc social sciences deal with human beings and their relation to each other in the society at different places at time social sciences are the sciences which study human beings in relation to their social systems and institutions social sciences include the discipline like history geography political sciences economics sociology psychology anthropology cultural studies public administration etc at the secondary school and university levels different social sciences are taught to students as independent and or distinct disciplines definition of social sciences let us examine some definitions of social sciences very scholars have defined social sciences by taking into consideration its unique as well as common features according to james high social sciences as those bodies of learning and study which recognizes the simultaneous and mutual actions of physical and non physical stimuli which produce social relations according to charles weir social sciences are a body of knowledge and thought pertaining of or to human affairs as distinguished from sticks stones stars and physical objects perhaps a classified for social sciences uh, given by uh, james high will give uh, us a precise picture of uh, this conception they are history men's history anthropology men's ethos geography men's about political science men's order sociology means association economics means substance and psychology means behavior begins and begins defined social science is the subjects that relates to the origin organization and development of human society especially to men in its association with other men definition of social sciences you can define social sciences as it is a study of people in their environment it is a study of how people live and work together at the local national or international level it is an inquiry to realize how to people today all over the world and economically and politically interdependent it is a study to enhance the understanding of the past to interpret the present or current trends to develop the skills of becoming an effective member of the society the center point of social science is men and uh, i have discussed definition uh, just uh, or indicates the nature of social science is as a subject study the real nature of this discipline can be well understood only by the further analyzing the all these definitions such analysis 
will yield the uh, conclude, analyze, uh, draw uh, some uh, essential characteristics of social sciences. Or uh, in, other, in other words, we can say nature of social sciences. The following points categorize the nature of social sciences. Social sciences are uh, basically concerned with human relationships. A study of the nature of human society is the ultimate goal of all social sciences. Social sciences study mostly and uh, the social issues and social issues are always more complex, more subjective and less very feeble than the issues of physical sciences. Different social sciences like history, economics, sociology, anthropology, etc. constitute an area or field of knowledge and this area of field of knowledge is functionally different from other areas or fields of knowledge like language, mathematics, general science, etc. And uh, another uh, nature of social science, a unique combination of various disciplines. So social sciences can be treated as a separate subject. It is a harmonious blended of various subjects like history, geography, political science, economics, sociology, anthropology, psychology, law, literature, art education, etc. In other words, it draws interrelated information from various disciplines or subjects or study and integrate these meaningful uh, or meaningfully so as to give a new insight into the actual nature of social science or social life in its totality. Next, I study of uh, human relationship, another nature, we can say. It is a study of uh, man and his relationships, whether the uh, human begins and his environments. It deals uh, with the uh, primary issues of man and its solutions. It studies the web of relationship between the among people, classes, group, institutions, traditions, organization, etc. We can take up uh, another uh, nature of uh, social sciences. For example, uh, our study of man's development through ages. It offers a comprehensive study of man's progress in each period, how he succeed in his attempts, why he fail, what are the unique combination of men who lived at uh, various ages of human history for uh, human development and uh, the like. Amen are uh, preparing the learners for wholesome social living. Another uh, nature of social science by understanding the analyzing the subject matter the learner imbibes some essential knowledge of his uh, social environment. It may enrich his intellectual and social skills, help to lead a purposeful and a successful adult life. And uh, next, uh, another uh, nature of social sciences, social sciences have their own distinct content area and methodology for approaching and understanding knowledge, some of common methods using social sciences for understanding uh, knowledge are historical, thematical, participatory, non correlative quasi-experimental, etc. Concerns for value attainment, it is an important of social sciences. Therefore, social scientists 
whether always for goodness or values of something that they attain or deal with social sciences are primarily interdisciplinary in nature a concept or issues of social sciences may not be uh, confined uh, to one discipline of the social sciences rather the concept of the or the issues may be uh, understood uh, taking into account the perspective of all discipline of social sciences another uh, nature of social sciences it forms an important part of the core curriculum this is another unique feature social sciences considered as an eligible minimum program essentially required for equipping men with the insights and skills that would enable him to lead a successful life even a learner who likes to go for some uh, other specialization like mathematics or science should be develop the awareness and knowledge for uh, success in those field also it include commitment to actions this is uh, another feature of uh, social science nature of social science features of social science character of social science you can say uh, uh, any uh, a uh, feature nature crush etc it includes commitment to actions social science enable every learner to be an informed individual who uses his knowledge by participating actively and constructively in the affairs of society through the society through the socially significant nature of its content is help the student to learn the process of individual and social action required for an informed citizen in a democracy okay uh next point is the scope of social sciences and discuss we will discuss uh, um, scope of social sciences first is called vast and wide as the world on the basis of all characteristics of social sciences enumerated uh, earlier discussed we are now in a position to uh, define the education scopes so that the subject of study by the scope we mean the uh, extent variety depth breadth and comprehensiveness of learning experiences possible uh, through its curriculum transaction thus the scope at social sciences is defined by the range of content and experiences that are to be provided to the learner through its teaching scholars like uh, michaels are of the opinion that the breadth of social science program should provide for a variety of experiences so that the child learning will be well rounded and well balanced it should also be possible to draw upon other fields of learning so that all sufficient problems can be considered in the light of their many ramifications a narrow uh, contemporized program it sure to limit the scope of social learning the major scope of social sciences is vast and wide as the world the scope of social science is very vast it is as wide as the world and as long as the history of man it may be apt here to remember john sir renold historian 
Johnson was a renowned historian of what? History is everything that ever happened is the study of human relationships in areas such as peoples of ons nationally and people across the world people and uh, various kinds of institutions people and earth place of living people and time chronology people and resources goods and services for a meaningful understanding of these uh, webs of relationship basic knowledge of history civics geography economics sociology anthropology etc recognized in a meaningfully integrated manner is essential moreover when these subjects are synthesized into a compact whole by blending them together the comparatively limited scope of each subject become broader and deeper and shekel scope is a functional study of nature and physical sciences this second scope we can take up the term functional study indicates the whatever with the factual material obtained from various areas of study must have direct and immediate relationship to the needs and interests of children social science natural science and physical science are different areas but they are quite interdependent and interrelated the development in the field of science and technology have uh, thoroughly changed and social life of men all over the world the vision of man has today extended beyond his society and nation to the world as a whole in social science we have to deal how advances in the field of botany geology physiology chemistry and physics have helped the health progress and welfare of people's life at large to have a better understanding of peoples all over the world a functional study of fine arts such as uh, drawing painting music dance architecture etc should be included in the social science curriculum and another scope of social science a study of current affairs when dealing with our current problems and issues a meaningful analysis of the past also becomes essential the scientific study of contemporary issue is of great value in social sciences education as all these focus towards a more equipped further next the scope i study leading to international understanding the study of two words has convinced as uh, the fact that best policy for any nations is live and let live as quoted by jawaharlal nehru universal brotherhood of man is essential in the age of crisis social science possesses the requirement potential to lead children towards his prime goal another scope practical study of various resources social science as a subject of study is uh, rich enough to give a good exposure on not only to natural resources but also a human resources of different cultural cultures and civilizations field trips to place of history historical places cultural geographical economic scientific and educational importance will give the learners a rich practical experiences that would add to their social efficiency next point is context and concerns of social sciences 
though social sciences are taught in schools of most of the countries of the world but the context and concerns of teaching social sciences very uh, from country to country and from time to time this happens because of the socio cultural aspects of different countries are not the same and context and concerns of teaching any subject including social sciences in a country are determined by its socio cultural aspects at different times let us discuss the context and concerns of teaching social sciences in indian school setup while teaching a social sciences at the school level the following important context should be taken into consideration for example socio cultural uh, cultural context learner context context of changes and development in education and concerns of social sciences social sciences needs to address multiple concerns in teaching of social sciences social sciences curriculum and pedagogy needs a new approach in the light of the following concerns these concerns are balancing between mainstream knowledge and local knowledge shifting from subject based approach to concept attainment and another concern giving the learner the prime place in teaching learning process that is learner centered creating a, a strong bond between school knowledge and knowledge available in the community the role of textbook should not be directive or instructive for the learner rather should be suggestive for the learners thank you for this lecture uh, there are the some questions for your uh, practice sake uh, what are the common methods used in social sciences for understanding knowledge why do social sciences facilitate multiple thinking referring uh, to a single issues another question how does subject based approach consider knowledge next question is define mainstream knowledge and uh, these are the references for your uh, further study thank you thank you for this lecture thanks for listening thank you